Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel where we share educational videos on EKG analysis. In this video, we will be discussing how to analyze an EKG tracing of a third-degree heart block. Third-degree heart block, also known as complete heart block, is a type of cardiac conduction disorder in which there is no transmission of electrical impulses from the atria to the ventricles. This results in a complete dissociation between the atria and the ventricles, causing them to beat independently of each other. In third-degree heart block, the atria and ventricles are paced by separate electrical systems. The atria are paced by the sinoatrial or SA node, which generates electrical impulses at a regular rate of around 60 to 100 beats per minute. The ventricles, on the other hand, are paced by a secondary pacemaker located in the bundle of his or the ventricular conduction system, which generates impulses at a slower rate of around 30 to 40 beats per minute. As a result of this dissociation, the QRS complexes on an electrocardiogram will appear at a slower rate than the P waves, and there will be no relationship between them. The P waves may be absent or may appear at a different rate than the QRS complexes depending on the underlying cause of the block. Third-degree heart block is most commonly caused by damage to the conduction system of the heart, such as in cases of myocardial infarction, degenerative diseases, or inflammation of the heart muscle. Other causes include medication side effects, electrolyte imbalances, or congenital heart defects. Symptoms of third-degree heart block may include dizziness, fainting, chest pain, and shortness of breath. Treatment options include implantation of a pacemaker to regulate the heart rate and rhythm. Without treatment, third-degree heart block can lead to serious complications such as heart failure, stroke, or sudden cardiac arrest. Now, let's discuss the steps to analyze an EKG tracing of third-degree heart block. Step 1. Assess the regularity of the rhythm. There are two distinct rhythms. We have the atrial rhythm and we have the ventricular rhythm. This reflects the overall dysfunction of the cardiac conduction system, which is having complete dissociation between the upper half of the heart from its bottom half. The sinus node stimulates the two atria to contract on a regular basis, while the AV bundle controls the two ventricles also at a regular rhythm. So the P to P intervals would be consistent, as will the R to R intervals. Step 2. Determine the heart rate. There are two rates, the atrial rate and the ventricular rate. We can count the number of P waves in a 6 second section then multiply that by 10, and we get the atrial rate. In this example, there are 13 P waves, which gives us an atrial rate of 130 beats per minute. Next we count the number of QRS complexes, which in this example is 3, then multiply this by 10, to get 30 beats per minute for the ventricular rate. Step 3. Identify the P waves. In third-degree heart block, the P waves will have no relation to the QRS complexes. Therefore, the P waves will appear at a different rate than the QRS complexes. In most cases, there would be more P waves than QRS complexes. In this example, there are 13 P waves in a regular rhythm and they all seem to appear normal in morphology, except for 2 P waves, hidden in AT wave. Step 4. Determine the PR interval. In third-degree heart block, there is no PR interval to speak of as the atria and ventricles are not communicating with each other. Step 5. Determine the QRS duration. In a third-degree heart block, your QRS complex can be narrow or wide. The QRS duration will be normal if the block is located in the AV node, meaning the duration will be less than 0.12 seconds. However, if the block is located below the AV node, the QRS duration will be widened, with a duration of more than 0.12 seconds. In summary, a third-degree block is an abnormal rhythm that has severe complications. It is characterized by the dissociation between the atria and the ventricles. 
This is seen on the EKG as the lack of relationship between the P waves and the QRS complexes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button so you can get the latest EKG analysis videos.